Welcome to Smart Remarks. Would you like fries with that or how about a higher wage? So my first job was at Burger King where I made minimum wage way back in 1984. The minimum wage back then was $3.35 an hour. It was peanuts, but I didn't know any better. You know, for me it was pocket money and it wasn't until years later that I realized that some of the people I worked with were relying on those peanuts to help them pay all the bills. Fast forward 30 years, I'm a decrepit old man and the minimum wage in Pennsylvania is now $7.25 an hour. It's more or less kept up with inflation, which is to say that it won't buy you a whole lot more or less than it did back in 1984 so long as you're still only buying peanuts. Now, some people on the right don't like the idea of the minimum wage at all, saying that if we got rid of it, employers would hire more workers. It would solve our unemployment problem. Me, I'm not so sure a society where everyone has jobs, but they're making $4 an hour is a better or wealthier society. On the other side of the coin are liberals who think we ought to raise the minimum wage, and President Obama endorsed that this week in his State of the Union address where he called for increasing the minimum wage to $9 an hour and indexing it to inflation. He believes this will put more purchasing power uh, into the hands of some of the poorest Americans and improve the economy. Uh, and that's probably true, but I've got to say that in my old age, I've, I've come to believe in what we might call the law of unintended consequences. Conservatives say that raising the minimum wage is actually going to destroy jobs uh, because it's going to raise uh, employers' labor costs. They'll hire fewer workers. I doubt that, and here's why. Think about your local Burger King or your local McDonald's during the lunch rush. It's a madhouse. Can a place like that simply afford to have fewer workers? What would happen if they did? Customers would get angry. Orders would take forever people would go somewhere else. In retail and restaurants, if there's a demand for your product or service, you simply have to have a certain number of workers on the floor or you risk alienating customers who might walk out the door and spend their money somewhere else. So if you skimp on hiring, you may be shooting yourself in the foot or in the wallet. But there seems to be this idea that if we raise the minimum wage, wage, employers or owners or proprietors will simply swallow the difference. They'll simply take the loss. What I think is likely to happen instead is that they'll raise prices so they don't have to take the loss. Prices could go up at fast food restaurants, they could go up at supermarkets, they could go up at retail stores, movie theaters. Any place that employs minimum wage labor could see prices rise. We're talking about inflation. Now, liberals don't often wade into this argument. We often don't get this far. And when we do, we might argue that the increased purchasing power uh, that would come from raising the minimum wage would actually result in greater sales and greater profits and negate the need to raise prices. Well, you know, I really hope that would be the case. But, you know, this is one of those things where you got to be careful for what you wish for. Some folks are saying a more effective way of putting more purchasing power into the hands of the poorest Americans might be increasing uh, the earned income tax credit. That would be a way to boost their bottom line without boosting consumer costs for you. But in any event, yeah, I once made, made one bit of minimum wage, and I can totally see the argument for raising it. All I'd say is watch out for those unintended consequences.